At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Monetary Board has taken some action to curtail the activities of perpetual treasuries and those actions are proportionate to violations that were identified in the central bank's on-site examination report of the perpetual treasuries. But that report also identified other things but which needed to be investigated further. So in relation to that, the Monetary Board decided that the governor, I as the governor, on other concerns which came out of the on-site report, which could not be fully established as violations, but which had to be investigated further. So we have, I think, two internal inquiries also going on. So we have the CID inquiry, two internal inquiries, and we have curtailed the activities, perpetual treasuries. So I have the assets being frozen. At the moment, I can't give you detail. The governor went on to speak of the country's inflation levels. If you look at inflation, um, headline inflation is still within target band. need to examine what caused and as you probably know, there was uh, a change in the base year. There was a rebasing of the inflation indices by the Department of Census and Statistics. In that process, the weight of food items came down significantly to less than about 30%. So non-food items are now about 70%. And if you look at the delta, the increase in the core inflation that has taken place, almost 50% of it is explained by education. Now, how that would have happened is that for the, you know, schools and other institutions charge their fees at the beginning of the year. So this would have been the first time that the 15% VAT would have kicked into education fee. So that is why you saw this jump in education.